Don't forget to go to AshKicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Hey, Jared. So, if, if you would compare uh, Trout to anybody else you ever faced, would you say he's like the toughest opponent? Oh yeah, he's definitely the toughest. As far as comparison, uh, nah, I think nah, I, don't, I don't see me fight. I haven't fought anyone quite like the Austin Trout, but uh, as far as competition, he, he feel, I feel like he's my toughest competition. Okay. Um, when it comes to the Tony Harrison fight, you know, a lot of people, they, a lot, some people thinking that he has an edge. They just basing it off of that fight. Do you feel you needed to improve anything on from that fight, or or what? Oh yeah, definitely, man. I feel like my my footwork was a little sloppy that fight. You know, uh, like and I had never seen you get hit that yeah, much yeah, either. Yeah, you know, my defense too a little, man. But it, 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 what it was is that I was letting uh, Tony Harris use angles on me and slide out the side door. I should have cut the ring off a little better. You know, with my feet work out just going straight mm -hmm. instead of using angles myself. Uh -huh. So uh, other than that, man, you know, we've been working on our footwork, making sure that uh, these guys can't move and, and dance circles around me. Okay, so you see this fight more of a chess match, a, a little bit of... Oh yeah, it's definitely going to be more of a, a mind game in there than a physical strength for you. So uh -huh. I mean, it's going to be definitely a mind game. Okay, is there anyone else? I mean, not looking past them, but is there anyone? Since there's so much going on at oh, 154, yeah. anybody else on your hit list? Oh yeah, most definitely, man. This is this is the card to display the 154 pound talent. So, you know, we definitely want Laura. We definitely want uh, Jamel Charlo, uh -huh. uh, winner of that fight with Lubin. So, uh, you know, one of those guys, Antoine Boucher, he, he, he comes up with an upset. Give All me predictions that. on them two fights, Charlo Lubin. Uh, for the Charlo fight, I'm gonna have to go with Charlo because we did, and it's not to say that that fight's not 50-50 because we really don't know what Luke can do. Uh -huh. This is his first time on a stage like this, and no telling, man, if he go out there and, you know, show off. So, uh, but as far as experience, as far as, far as him, Charlo being there, I'm going to go with Charlo. And okay. with the Law fight, I don't think Terrell Boucher is quite on Law level right now, and I feel like Law is going to take that fight over. Okay. Anything else you want the fans to know about this fight or anything else on your mind before I let you go, man? Oh, yeah, man. Just know that, like I said, this is a, a display for, for the 154 pounders uh, Saturday night. And y'all talk to the one that's right now that's going to be on top. All right, Jared Hurry, y'all. Thanks, man. All right. What's going on, guys? I will be at the Pro-Am show in California next Sunday where they're going to be honoring your boy Dante's Boxing Nation and Award along with Ellie Setback and Michelle Phelps. It's a great event. They're going to have professional fights and amateur fights. And Flavor Flav is going to be hosting it. A lot of celebrities, Eddie Murphy, and more. So if you guys are out there in California next Sunday, come check us out. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.